Hello and welcome to another edition of Eat the Week. I'm your host, Harry Foodie Guy, and I will be mainly eating crispy pancakes in this video. Ha! Crispy pancakes from Bird's Eye. So I was shopping in Iceland and I saw these and they literally took me right back to my childhood. Did anyone else love these things like as kids and really look forward to, to having them? You know, when, when it was like, oh, what are we having, mum? Oh, we're having crispy pancakes and like smiley faces and, and O's or, you know, like uh, alphabet spaghetti or baked beans or something like that. We'd be like, yay! Back in the days when, you know, I used to actually like um, oh, potato waffles. Ugh, really? So, I bought these two. They're, they were two pound a packet. Believe it or not, <laughs> there's four in this packet. Four in this packet. <laughs> just, I don't know. I'm expecting them to be well tiny because um like the box isn't huge and uh if you remember that like when you cook them in the oven like most of the filling would escape so you would get a crispy pancake and a bit of filling on the side that you'd have to scrape up and put on your pancake the packaging is the same i'm pretty sure although this one being pink i would imagine it being like prawn cocktail flavor but um, it's actually ham and mozzarella. And who can forget the old classic minced beef and onion. So my taste buds have matured along with the rest of me. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to make of these at all. <laughs> so like, but because I have a pink packet of crispy pancakes, I'm going to wear my pink reading glasses and have a look at some of the nutritional content because I am interested if I can find it. Right, okay, so tastiest when oven baked straight from the freezer, 10 minutes, you do realize they are going straight in the air fryer. They're not even going in anywhere near the oven. So each pancake has 190 calories, 11 grams of fat, of which saturates is 2.5, 16 grams of carbs, and 0.72 grams of salt and six and a half grams of protein. That's the chickeny ones. Um, so have a look. The minced beef ones come in slightly lighter at seven, five, six. Only 10 grams of fat, I suppose, because there's no cheese. Um, a little bit more carbs, one gram more carbs you know and hardly any protein at all so there's not much goodness in these in these little things so there you go if you want to have a look yourself that's the nutritional content so of the crispy pancake which i don't know whether it ever disappeared or whether they've just bought them back or you know when i just wasn't looking for them i mean they they jumped out you know of the freezer at me literally it was like oh my god buy these they're, they're like food from your childhood so before i get them in the air fryer i'm actually going to open the packets and see what they look like pre pre-cooked <laughs> i'm not expecting to be impressed so this is the beef beef one. Oh my god I've either grown massively or that's tiny. I mean, it's like, you know, it barely covers the palm of my hand. So that's the uh, that's the the beef one, and I can't imagine that this one's going to look any any different. No. So let's have a look. This is the ham and mozzarella cheese with the very garish packaging. Was it always this color pink? I can't remember. That's a long time ago. We, you know, we're talking decades ago since the last time I saw these. So, alrighty. No, there's there's no real difference. So, you know, uh, if if the filling stays in, you know, this is going to be impressive.
and I'm going to be honest, they look nicer than I thought they would. Maybe it's because um, I've air fried them rather than done them in the oven. The contents have uh, remained in there. And uh, like the numpty that I am, I've completely forgotten which flavour is which. Because one is significantly ding, uh, better done around the edge you know, than the other one. So I'm wondering whether that's the the beef one and that's the, the cheese one. It looks paler, but they're not little tiny wispy, like empty pancakes with a filling on the side. These are actual, you know, the, the, the filling has remained inside. So maybe I've learned something by putting them in the air fryer or birds I have learned how to contain their fillings into their crispy pancakes. So let's just get into it. I'm going to go straight through the middle to see, for one reason, to see which flavour this one is. I think it's the cheese one, yeah. So, this is the cheese and mozzarella one. And as you can imagine, it's piping hot. So I'll bring it to the camera so you can see what we got. So the filling is actually in there still. So it's not a huge amount, but it's not it's not like totally flat. So and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the same with this one. I'm gonna cut this minced beef one in half. Just to let them cool down. So right now I'm really confused. Because <laughs> if this is minced beef. That's a very odd consistency to it. It doesn't look very beefy. So I was expecting it to, you know, whoops. I was expecting it to look like that. <laughs> and that certainly does not look like the picture on the packet now, does it? So, look at <laughs> that's brilliant. So, yeah, where is my beef? It looks like someone's stolen it. That's great. And you've just seen it, I've just cut it, and that's what you get. So, I'll even get the other piece just in case all the beef is down one end because you just never know with these things. So, there you go. That's the other one, and there's the picture for comparison. So, so far visually, they don't really work. So let's have a look at the the, uh, the ham and cheese one. So I'll get that open. Let's make let's make it fair. So there's the picture there, and that's what you get there. It doesn't it looks quite light on filling. So, and I mean, it's still two pounds, you know, for like, you know, it says with 43% <laughs> more filling. <laughs> That's brilliant. Does that one say the same? Plus 15% bigger pack. So plus 15% bigger photographs on the front, but I don't think... And this one says plus forty three percent more filling. Okay, let's um let's get into this then. Let's just <laughs> so forty three percent more filling. So let's get in then. Let's see where this forty three percent more filling is. So a tiny bit of my filling just fell out. There's a tiny bit of ham. Let's just see what they taste like. Okay, better than I expected. That's a nice, it is a nice box of other cheese. I'm not going to lie. So the flavour is better than I expected, but it's not 43% better than I expected. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. I totally and utterly expected to uh, to be moaning about these. But after exactly 12 minutes in the air fryer, they kept their shape. They've uh, they haven't, you know, like emptied their fillings all over my air fryer. Mmm. And so far, that actually tastes all right. <laughs> that bad. I was expecting it to be terrible. Mm. So that's the cheese and ham one. What I'm going to do with this beef one is I'm going to... Um, I can do the same with the cheese and ham one, actually. So that one actually tasted really nice. So, so what we'll do is we'll actually examine what's in there. So let me just cut around the edge and open it up. Because this says 43% more filling. So let's just actually see exactly what we're getting for our money. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. So that's the, the cheese, the mozzarella and ham one. So if you can see, um, I might have to just pick it up with my fingers here. That's the inside. So, you know, that was actually quite fra flavoursome. So let's let's actually undo, um, let me just get rid of that. I'm going to do the same with one of the beef ones. Because it looked very, very sus. So I'm just opening it up now. And the beef, the beef in this is very grey. I mean, there's there's the filling of the the beef pancake, and as you can see, it looks nothing like that. It, th there you go. There's a there's a close up. Judge yourself, you know. I mean, this this is not that. The, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna do uh, product photography, at least get your colours right. I know there are professional. Um, photographers out there that photograph food but that pancake is not that pancake at all but let's see what it tastes like because I didn't mind the cheese and ham I thought that was really nice so so let's get into this rather grey unappealing looking minced beef and onion crispy pancake I wish I'd started with this one now because um, this one doesn't really taste of anything. Okay, so the first mouthful I got was just empty pancake. All the meat was in the corner of that one. So I can actually taste the, the filling. The meat's very pappy. Um, there's no consistency to it. It's just, it's a bit sloppy. Um, see, yeah, it's, it's, it's like minced beef gravy. No, I'm cutting into this one now. And the filling's coming out. And I've got this gravy, like gray substance coming out, but no real lumps of beef. So, mm. I'm not so keen on that one at all. Like that's a complete waste of calories. It's like the gravy pies that you get. They call themselves steak pies on them. You know, I mean, if there if there is minced beef in here, they've invented. Uh, a mincing machine 
that must mince down to microscopic particles because there's no beef in that. You can see that you can see that it's just gravy just oozing out. You know, come on. There's no, there's no, there's not even a lump of anything in there. It's just literally a gravy pancake. with a hint of onion. That's crazy that they can make two flavors and get it so wrong with one. And this one's right, actually, because the cheese and ham that, you know, what does this one say? Plus 15% bigger. It didn't say where. So they both look the same when I took them out of the packet. They both weigh exactly the same. So how is it bigger? Hmm. Now this one, I would eat again, which is weird because I didn't think I'd say that. Hmm. But it may be just I'm a fan of the cheese and ham combo obviously in whatever state, shape or form. Um, doesn't make me a crispy pancake fan though. It just means that I don't mind that flavour. That flavour is gross. So that was, that was actually fun because I had no idea how I was going to react to something that was a staple, um, piece of my childhood diet. I remember asking my mum to buy me them. It's like, oh, please get the crispy pancakes. Like, you know, it's, uh, yeah. And I remember liking this flavor when I was younger, but maybe I was too young to know better, or maybe it did taste better, or maybe we were just poor and we liked what whatever we could get on our plates, you know? Um, yeah, I do you know what? I'm going to keep these in my freezer and I, I may test them on other people to see what they think because uh, I'm, I'm interested to see uh, if it sparks off childhood memories for other people, you know, because I've not seen these around for, for decades. So, yeah, so yeah, I like the cheese one and a beef and onion one can do one. So, if I need room in my freezer, they'll be the first things to go, or if uh someone comes around I, I might have a crispy pancake conversation with them and say would you like to try one i've got some in the freezer i can get them ready in 12 minutes in the air fryer and uh see where everyone is but most people would probably say i'm not eating that rubbish <laughs> so, so the things you do uh for a youtube foodie channel so on that note um i hope you've uh, liked this video and if it hankers you back to your childhood Go and buy them. I mean, yeah, they're, they're two pounds each, but I'm sure you, you'll get them on a deal from Iceland. Um, are they worth two pounds? Absolutely not. <laughs> so that one's not worth 20 pence. So those, are, yeah, I'd buy them, I'd buy them for a pound. And if I had a, if I had a really snacky evening and I knew that I could have something that like a, like, you know, that tasted ham and cheesy for a pound. Yeah, I'd buy it. Two pounds, I wouldn't. I'd just make myself a ham and cheese sandwich. It's easier. You know, I've got a George Foreman. If I want it toasted, I could just whack it in there. Like, you know, um, and I think the lesson in this is anything you take that cook at home is going to taste better than the processed stuff that you get in boxes at Iceland. Apart from the fish. <laughs> the fish we're learning is, is amazing from Iceland, you know. Um, but maybe it's not as processed as this stuff, you know, so, um, that's just literally, yeah, just, just made in factories and stuff like that. But anyway, please, uh, if you like this sort of content, give us a like, um, a follow would be wonderful. I don't do processed food all the time, but I think it's funny to, uh, to see things, especially when they hank you back to your childhood, uh, drop comments um give me suggestions i literally bought the only two flavors that they had in iceland but 
if you know of any other flavors let me know um if there's any veggie options or you know i i can't see bird's eye doing vegan crispy pancakes anytime soon um so so yeah i mean yeah just let me know what you think and uh we'll see you all in the next video okay thanks for watching and bye bye